Driving a tractor, climbing a tree, you can find it all in Cotton Top 3. so there's going to be a lot of questions in this video i think i've explained everything as well as i possibly could as you watch the video and because i mean i went from one end to the other or right, one thing that i didn't explain is this right here there's going to be some people who are going to say why didn't you use a rail car bridge and things like that okay so understand first of all that we have nothing to do with this we are hired by somebody to cut and haul the timber so it's up to somebody else to do this stuff right here and what y'all are watching all right the deal on this thing is right here is this bridge is supposed to be left for the new property owner that now owns the land and that's going to be their bridge so that's why these two things are put in so people are going to ask why didn't you use a rail car bridge well we've used rail car bridges bridges before there's several reasons why i don't know if any of y'all have ever fooled with those things or not they are incredibly heavy they are very long they are a pain to fool with because they are so long and they are so heavy they will hold up god only knows what they'll hold up the whole world i mean you can put a log truck on them in a heartbeat and hold them up here's another problem with them you have zero room to play with on a rail car bridge if you use a single one. There's no room for error on it whatsoever. When you track across a rail car bridge with a track machine, there's not but about, there's not very much of the track at all on the bridge. And so, I mean, you got to be paying attention. But a truck, you take hundreds of loads coming back and forth across this thing the truck drivers almost have to hang their head out the window to see where they're at when they line up on the bridge because they're not like a vehicle when you hop up on that bridge in a truck on a narrow one you can't see nothing you've done lost all your vision period because you're sitting up so high you got to hood the truck the breathers all that mess like that that's the reason why there's two of these bridges sitting side by side. So we got 16 feet of width right here rather than one rail car bridge. So that's why we did that. Now we've run on this thing. I think we're on our third week now hauling on this bridge because this was when we first did it, uh, when we were first moving in there. And so far, uh, we hadn't had any trouble. The bridge has set a little bit and stuff like that. So we hadn't had any trouble as far as uh, as far as that goes. So uh, enjoy the rest of the video as it as it goes, and I'll come back at the very end. We got everything here: grader, bulldozer on the other side of the grader, new LX 830D, 630E, 635D. My loader right here. Let's walk up here and take a look at this bridge and see what it looks like. So there's the two axles that were under both of the uh, trailers that they cut out and then set over there out of the way. And right there is the bridge. 
So if you notice the bridge on the left, that's the one that dropped with Derek right there. You can see where it dropped. Okay, so from right here to right there, doll, this is a new section. I don't know, it's 10 foot or so to right here where they tied it into it because it wasn't long enough to, uh, they wasn't long enough to span it by themselves. Oh, I see what they did. They took, let me get my light here so I can show y'all. Alright, so they put some plates on the ground and then welded those legs on it. Looks like they, looks like they picked this thing up. That's a piece of channel iron right there. They put that on there. There's this, oh shoot, hit my head. That, let's come hard at it. There's this torch striker. So we'll try that and see how she works, I guess. Oh boy, that first thing he told me he got out and he shook my hand. He said, he said I don't have my ears in, so he said, I'm not going to be able to hear you. you know. See, that's where it buckled. Mm mm mm. Alright, we're going to track the dozer up on it first and we're going to see see what it does here. I'm going to watch it. Let's see what kind of movement we get. It's about to hit it. See where it pushed them bubbles up ground right there. This is a 650 going across it now. So he just came across it on that 160 right there. I didn't get that, but uh, what we we're about to do, we're not gonna cross it with these heavy track machines, Derek's, Kevin's, and mine. Uh, we are, Kevin looked his machine up last night. That 2554 is supposed to weigh around 80,000, and that's without the head. The head weighs 7,500 pounds is what that head weighs. I'm right around roughly right at 70 on mine. They told us that Derek's coming in at 82, around 82. Uh, they told us that their other 830 was heavier than that one. I believe it. I believe it is. But we're gonna go on up this creek here, a couple hundred yards up that away. And uh, Derek's fixing to start in there with the track cutter, and 
he's going to follow him with the excavator and he's going to bring one of the sides of the creek off a little bit, taper it some, and then we're going to lay whole trees in the creek. And then we're going to get the excavator across it and then he's going to take the other side off. We're basically going to make a ford across the creek there with trees. And I'm going to show y'all, I'm going to take the camera out there where y'all can watch it, watch us do it. But uh, then I'm going to, if anything needs to be laid better in the creek, and I'll, I'll take my loader and I'll situate in there. I'm going to be the last person to go across it. But we're just not going to, the trucks will be fine going across that bridge right there. But we're just, the side to side movement when those machines are tracking on there. Where it's kind of scary. We don't, I mean, <clears throat> if that machine or Kevin or I flip off of that thing on that low side, we're going to land on our cab in the water. That water in the middle of that bridge is about four foot deep. They stuck it the other day. And so, depending on how deep that cab would go down in the mud when you hit, you wouldn't probably be able to get the door open. They do have a secondary escape hatch on all these machines, but if it's buried in the mud too, so the machines can be replaced, but you know, one of us cannot. And there's no way one of us on the ground could get the other person out. I don't know what we'd do. So we're, we're just gonna err on the side of caution and this is how we're going to do it and get on the other side of it over there. Because like I said, the trucks, you got to think, that machine right there, the tracks on it, however long they are, all that weight is sitting right there. Okay, a truck, think about a truck. you got all those axles on the truck. you got five axles on the truck, and it's spread out long. So the weight distribution is a lot better on the truck than what it is on one of these machines with all the weight sitting right in the, in the middle right there. So we're not... We're not worried about the trucks. We thought about, or Kevin talked to Dad about possibly bringing the low boy over here and loading these things up on the low boy and taking them across with that where the weight would be distributed out. But here's the problem with that. You gotta add another 40 something thousand pounds of weight even though it's stretched out with the tractor and the trailer on top of what the machine weighs. And then, oh, by the way, if it caves, you just lost a machine and a truck and a trailer, and possibly a person. So the only people here is me and Kevin and Derek, and that's it. We don't have we don't have no trucks here. Uh, we don't have Chad here. Uh, nobody else is here but us and uh, the guy on the excavator. And this is just what we're going to have to do. These machines that, that we run are just a lot heavier than what you normally see in the, in the southeast here running for the most part you know so that's just how we got to do it this time show y'all what it looks like right now Derek cut these trees here over there and then I shoveled them over here for him to grab and throw in the creek see he's basically corduroying it's what he's doing right now I probably had to jump up there and get over here for him to help him. Give him these things, give him. That's gonna hold us up good right there. jump up here I'm gonna set my camera up and I'm gonna move over here and run him in the trees because he's gonna be out there too far where he ain't gonna be able to reach them.
be the last one to go across it and as I go across it I'll reach back and I'll pick all this stuff up out of it. That creek's got a good got good bottom to it right there because those, those trees are not sinking, so that's good. Now here comes Derek. He'll be diving off in there right behind him because Derek's going to get over there to start cutting trees down. All right, here comes Derek. Just cut a saw on. What that new cutter right there? That thing, that thing don't play. All right, I think I'm gonna go ahead and go across it. Gonna send me back across here. Man. Like being on a drone. I didn't think about that when uh, I left the camera over there and then went across. I didn't think about the how to get back. No, good deal.
got it, man. Kevin's coming now. We get Kevin across. the nose of those tracks sink and he's put his head out there you go get up on that log I oh, got her now there we go now stretch your boom all the way out
got it now. Took a little bit of that steepness out of it. Shut your boom out. Shut your boom out. I'm going to track back up here and reach out across there with my loader. I'm going to pick all that stuff up and I'm going to stack it over here on the side. And then we'll use that to get back across again. That's what we'll do. Uh, I'm not going to film any of it. I'll film it after I get it, get it all out right here. And it's tied. I'm up against that tree over there with my tracks. Yeah, tight right here. All right, let's walk up here so you can see what it looks like i got them all out well i got them all except there's two on the far side over i just left them in there but the main thing i got all the ones in the middle here's a pile right here there's a pile of them over there well it may not be but one over there i think it's just one over on that other side so the water will run through like it's supposed to now now maybe we can get the log and get a deck built and uh, get to processing that. It's uh, 9.04 Monday morning. So not too bad. So as you can see, starting a job is 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 the worst. Uh, it takes a lot of time, a lot of effort, and we didn't want nobody there except for me, Kevin, and Derek, and I, and the guy on the excavator. Uh, that way, it's just us there, and uh, me, Kevin, and Derek, and we we know what to do. We can look at one another and see what and know what the other one's thinking. And it's just simpler for us to do it that way. Um, that way, you don't have other confusion or anything else going on. We can just solely focus on what we're doing. We were going to initially go across the, the bridge with the track machines. And when we tracked that dozer across it, and we, when Kevin could feel the way the bridge was moving inside the machine, I was watching it. After he got across, we, we talked about it off camera, and uh, we just we said, it's not going to happen. And uh, so the I didn't say it earlier, but the footage with them setting the bridges, I did not film. Uh, it was filmed and then given to me to use. I did get permission to use or to post any of this stuff right here um, and to make sure it was okay to to do what I did as far as posting it. So uh, it's a lot that goes into logging some of these jobs sometimes and um, and they're not easy sometimes. Uh, so, so far it's holding up well on us and hopefully it'll continue. I hadn't had to do any other work on it other than just grading some dirt around at each end of it there a little bit. But, uh, hope y'all enjoyed this. Hope y'all have a good week starting out this week. Enjoy your Sunday this Sunday. And I appreciate each and every one of y'all watching my videos day in and day out. Um, feel free to share this video around and, uh, and things like that. Because this is just kind of some things that's, uh, kind of out of the norm that you don't see day to day in a logging operation having to do this stuff like this right here so um if you like my stuff please subscribe to and i would appreciate it. all the clickable stuff's right down below in the description box so i'm gonna go for now we'll catch y'all later later taters